Did you ever think of taking a salt in your hand and burning it to produce two gases out of it? If you haven't, let's try that in this experiment. So before we begin, let us see what all we would require in order to carry out this experiment. So we would require a dry test tube mounted on a stand. The major ingredient of this experiment for us is the ammonium chloride salt. We are going to burn this salt and produce two gases out of it. So open this and take about 5 grams of ammonium chloride and put it in the test tube. Let's start doing that. I think this should be enough, roughly about 5 grams of ammonium chloride taken and let's put it back to place. Next, since we have to decompose this salt, we are going to heat it with a spirit lamp, a small one but powerful. Spirit lamp is now lighted. Let's start heating the salt with this. Let's increase the height of the salt by a little. As you can hear the sound, there are some fumes coming from the test tube. We need to increase the height a little bit more. Yeah, this should be fine. So as you can see, the fumes coming out of the test tube, let's see what all it consists of. Let's also wear some protective gear and let's take a blue litmus paper and bring it slightly moist it. And let's bring it close to this. Let's keep it on the mouth for some time. So as you can see, it has slightly started to change color. And it's becoming a little red. You can see it at the boundary. Has started to turn red at the boundaries that means there is a presence of some acidic element in the end products and the acidic element that's present in the end product is the HCl gas as you can see a lot of it has changed to red now so presence of HCl using this is confirmed now it's time for us to check what else is present. So we will be taking what is known as Nestler's reagent, K2HGI4 being the chemical formula, and we will dip it on a filter paper. So it's a colorless reagent in the beginning. This much should be enough. Let's place it at the mouth of the test tube. As you can see, the filter paper has slightly got yellow color now. This is because Nestler's reagent has reacted with ammonia which was coming out as the end product and hence ammonia was detected. So what all did we detect as our end products? We saw HCl because of the color change in the litmus paper and now we have also seen ammonia. So NH4Cl which was your original solid salt has now decomposed into HCl gas and ammonia gas. So this way 
we were able to produce two gases out of a single solid salt. Thanks for watching.